Hi everyone. Um, today's art journal prompt is take five. Um, I'm going to base my page on Shannon Green's journaling by fives and I'm going to follow five um, steps. Um, take five could mean something completely different um, to you. So, you know, it's out there. If you don't fancy doing this kind of thing, then, you know, you could um, take five could mean take five minutes coffee break, you know, wh wh whatever. Um, but the five steps that Shannon follows is um, adding a layer of paint um, or ink. Um, then adding your collage pieces, um, then adding stamps and stencils, then words and images, and then finally doodling. So I'll leave the five steps in the description box below if you decide that you want to do this kind of thing. Now I've got my usual piece of mixed media paper here, um, and then I've put um, three colours um, on a palette here. I've got this sort of olive green, in fact it is, it's olive green light, which is now Amsterdam acrylic. Then I'm using um, my Vibrant Turquoise um, Distress Paint and I've got some white as well. I did want to use my Dilutions Lime Green, um, but this is another one that's uh, that has completely set rock hard. So I will be on um, emailing Ranger again. I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. There's um, probably a third of a tub um, left there and it's, it's beyond redemption. Anyway, I'm going to use my brayer um, to create my background and I think I'm going to start off with the um, turquoise first of all and I'm just going to brayer in a couple of directions like this. I've got far too much paint on my palette so I'm going to have to um, go and grab some um, mop-up paint. <laughs> oh dear oh dear. Right okay let's add some of the um, olive green. I said I wasn't going to use these colours again, but I am going to add some other colours on top, I promise. I like that. And then I think I'm going to come in with some um, white just to you know, lighten things up a little bit. Yeah, I like how that looks. I'm not following the um, time frame here and um, that is just one step um, too far for me. Putting myself under a five minute time pressure, my goodness me, I think I'll be having a heart attack. <laughs> I just can't do it. I'm the slowest art journaler on the, on the planet. So um, you see my videos and, um, you know, it might be a 10, 15 minute video. It does not take me that um amount of time believe you me I'm so incredibly slow I sort of ponder and think on everything I am ridiculous right so I'm going to keep going until I've got a background that um, I am happy with right my page is dry um, that's the sheet that um, I brayed off the leftover paint and I just love that so I managed to cover um, the whole of that A3 sheet I'm going to put that to one side I've got another piece here um, to work on hang on let's make sure I'm in camera and then I've pulled out a few um, bits and pieces that I thought I could use for for collage I want to try and brighten things up a little bit I've got some fabric that I may or may not use um, some book pages um, these are some hearts that I've had in my stash for absolutely ages I cut them out it was when I was doing the clothing tags um, probably this time last year and I cut a load of heart shapes out of baby wipes and um, painty um, kitchen towel and I've never done anything with them so that's um, one a little heart cut out from a jelly print and more um, baby wipes um, I've got this flower or partial flower here this um, was just leftover modelling paste that um, that I've obviously chopped up. I've got this piece of marbled paper here that I thought might be quite fun and in fact actually I'm going to tear around the edges of this just because I just don't like having straight lines. Um, so let's tear, tear this up. I just thought this might bring a bit of life to the page. I've got this, this which is a heavily mica um, piece of paper that's um, obviously leftover spray from something and then I've got this flower here um, on deli paper um, let's tear a piece of um, this up let's just try and get some some layers going on and see see what um, see what we can do um, I want to tear around the edge of, of this as well let's see if we can get it into some kind of um, circle right okay what am I going to do with these um, pieces of paper. I've just torn the hard edge on, on that one there as well. 
So I have got to try and get these into some kind of order. What can we do? Oh, can't get the book paper up. I definitely want to incorporate that in there somewhere. Um, not sure about that fabric. I think I'm going to pass on, on that. Quite like that. And it is just a case of, of playing around until you get a composition that you like. I've said this to you before. Um, perhaps we can have that heart over there for some balance. I just love these hearts. I do want to use a couple of these. Do I want to try and bring together some of that um, pink as well? Not sure about that. Oh, I've got that green one with... This is actually quite hard. I'm completely overthinking this, as you can as you can see. So I am going to have a play around and then glue glue this down once I've decided how I want to position position. Right, okay, this is what I've come up with. Um, I didn't like everything sort of been lined um, vertically, so I've gone more of a horizontal theme. So I'm going to glue this down. I also um, have this piece of washi tape as well that was on um, some recent Happy Mail. So I'm going to glue this down. Um, I'm going to use matte medium um, for right, this. Okay, um, I've glued everything down, and whilst everything sort of you know looks cohesive or what have you at the moment, I can't see a finished journal page but I'm sure it will come together um, so right the next um, part is um, stenciling and um, stamping so I've got um, this big circle stamp this is one of the dilutions ones um, I've also got some of my acrylic mousses here um, what color shall I use I think I'm going to start off with some of the the blue um, let's have a look where where can I find a space I'm putting it off to um, whoops Daisy, my left hand side. Um, let's put some of this through the stencil and see see what we end up with. Let's put some down here too. Oh. Right, okay. Let's lift that up. Right, yep, yeah, I quite like that. Um, then I think I want a bit more um, over here. Hang on, I just want to be a bit careful. I think I'll add a little bit over over here as well. Let's go over some of the flowers so that we're over overlapping a bit. There we go. I think that's that's enough. Yeah, I like that. Maybe a bit um, down here too. In fact, I think I'll turn it this way round. I need a bit more paste. There we go. So I'm going to give that a dry and clean up my stencil. Um, and then um, we'll add some more. Right, okay. Um, now I've decided I am going to come in with some stamping. I'm going to use my Harlequin um, stamp and I'm using the stays on in teal blue. Um, so I'm going to go over some of the areas. Try not to overthink it, Nina, just stick it down. Right, okay, have a think. What do you want to do next? Um, next, I think I'm going to come in with my um, jumbled letter um, stamp. Let me just have a, yeah, upside down. I always do that. I'm going to stick with the um, turquoise, I think. I think that's enough. You're in danger, Nina, of completely overdoing things. Right, leave that be. I need to have a think and now. You would think at this point that I'd want to stop, but no. I'm going to come in with this stencil here and I'm going to add some of the um, white acrylic mousse. In for a penny, in for a pound. Right, what have I done with my um, spatula? Right, so here goes. Oh my goodness me, Nina, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Add some of this here. This is where you really should clean your stencils. Um, right, I actually quite like that. Um, right, I need some more mousse because um, I'd like to add some in a couple more places. Where else do I want it to go? I think I'd quite like some down here. And let's overlap because I quite like that look. 
yep yep that looks okay and then maybe some um, over here too so let's add a little bit here yeah that looks okay I think it's starting to take um, some kind of shape um, right, I'd better dry this before I do anything else. Right, okay, so I've dug out one of the um, sheets that Rain gave me in, in Happy Mail um, and I'm going to put some texture paste through this. I've dug out the baby baby pink and I'm going to add some um, over, over here. This might be the wrong thing to do, but we shall see. Oh, I do actually quite like that. I think we'll add some in the middle as well. And then I thought if I can add lots of colours to this, then I can end up using this in something else as well. Oops. The last of, of that. Yep, there we go. Oh, goodness gracious me. I'm not sure about this, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, gosh. Right, let's add some of the leftover here onto my page beneath. There we are. Right, I feel as if that was a bit too much and, and now I just feel as if I've got this um, green here looking all lost and lonely and looking as if it shouldn't shouldn't be there. So um, I've used some of my Bowfix um, paint. This is from, from Lidl, it's household paint. And I've mixed it in with some of the white texture paste and I think I'm going to go over where I've already got um, some of these dots in some of the green um, and see if we can just try and pull things together. Um, let's have a look. I just feel as if we need a bit of overlap here too, just to try and break up that um, mass of pink. We've got so much going on in this page anyway um, that I feel that more is more. Oh, that one's all smudged. This is a bit thin actually, but, um, but never mind. One, two, three. Do I want any, any more? Let's add a little bit down down here and then I feel as if I maybe want some over here too. Whoa, whoops a daisy I've just knocked the camera with my arm sorry about that. Right okay let's give give this a dry and see. I feel as if I want a bit more over over here. Just go for it. Right, there we are. <laughs> now I'm going to give this a dry. I'm just filling in every little space now. Right, okay. Well, this is just, you know, having more and more and more added to it. I actually love the way that it looks. All the colours and everything are really bringing it together. The texture is just absolutely amazing. And now I've decided to try and pick up some of the purple and come in with Wilted Violet in Distress Oxide and my little dot stamp, my Dilusions one. So let's add some of this as well and um, try and bring some of that purple into the equation. Yeah, you see, I really like that too. And I just love sort of all the all the layers and everything overlapping. I just think it's um, it just looks lovely. Do I want to add any more? Maybe a bit up here. And I think leave that be, um, Nina. Right, okay, maybe a bit more down here actually. There we go. Okay, so I can't believe I actually like this. I mean, I've just kept going and going and going until we end up with something that, um, I don't know, it actually looks quite cool, I think. I just love all the colours. Um, so more is definitely more in this one. Now, of course, we're on step number four, words, images, um, focal image. I'm going to add some words, but I do want to use these hearts here as my focal image. So I've got my Stabilo um, All pencil. And I am just going to outline um, these, these hearts. Um, I'm going to have to go off camera and do this, but this is all I'm doing. I should just go around them and then I shall activate it um, with um, some water or, or gel medium. I'm not sure, sure yet. I'll let you know once I've decided how I'm going to do it. Um, but I just want to bring these into the um, forefront. Um, so I'm going to go around all of the hearts, all three hearts, like, like this. Um, 
because I just feel that if I add anything else onto the top now other than words, I'm just going to sort of completely spoil what what I've got. So this is going to be my, my focal image. There we go. And then we'll go around this one here um, as well. Um, so let me go off and have a play with this and then I'll then I'll come back. Right, okay, that's how we're looking. And I just feel that that's just not big enough as a focal image. Um, and so what I've done is I've cut, um, folded a piece of parchment paper in half. This was the parchment paper I was using to glue everything down for the background. And I've cut a heart. Um, the first one I did was just a bit too small. So then I used the smaller one as a template. There we go. Um, just to cut a slightly bigger one. And I'm going to go off camera now and just draw around the outline of this. Um, so that that will become my focal image with the hearts in inside it. Right, we're nearly there. So I've gone around the outside um, with, with my black and I just used a brush with some um, matte medium and I've just brushed it outwards to try and create um, a bit of a shadow. So that's that done. Then I've added my quote, ridiculously delightful. That was from the Tim Holtz chit chat words and ridiculously delightful. That's how this felt. It just, I can't believe that I've actually got something that, um, that looks like a journal page. It just felt so sort of strange to me and then to bring the black um, into play I am going to use one of these Maped um, colour pubs this is similar to a gelato and I'm just going to create a border around the outside and just smudge it with my, my finger so I'm going to go around like this I'm going to do it off camera so that I can concentrate and don't ruin it to make a make a mess at the final final hurdle but I'm just going like like this um, and then I shall glue it into my journal and come back and show you at the end so here's my finished page I can't believe I've actually got a page that that looks like this um, you've probably noticed it's got a couple of extra words these are just random words from the Tim Holtz um, chit chat words but um, I suddenly noticed that I've got the words Christmas tree underneath where the word create is um, I used book pages from what Katie did at school and I'd obviously chosen a Christmas scene and had no idea but of course I couldn't have that on a spring page could I so I think the words though are absolutely perfect for this page uh, page create something ridiculously delightful this whole process just seemed utterly ridiculous as I was doing it and I just couldn't see how I was going to end up with any kind of a cohesive journal page but I have and I would definitely definitely try this process um, again it was um, a lot of fun it was quite nerve-wracking don't get me wrong as I was doing it um, but it was actually quite amusing and, and I, I really hope that some of you will, will give this a try I think we could have some quite interesting journal pages <laughs> this this week so I look forward to seeing what everybody else comes up with um, I've also just added, played around with the um, main heart just to sort of fiddle around, try and get a bit of shading um, going on. So fiddled around with that until um, I was happy with it. Um, I've also added a bit more stamping as well. I, I dug out the um, Royal Purple Stays On ink pad and um, I've just added some more of the jumbled letters and a, a couple more bits of, of Harlequin um, just to add another another layer um, and a bit more interest. So there you go. I hope you like it. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up if you did or even if you found it highly amusing <laughs> seeing my discomfort as I was um, as I was doing this um, but um, let me know what you think in the in the comments below um, and if anybody would like to join um, a supportive art journal group then I'll leave the link to art journal prompts our Facebook group in the description box below and I'll also leave the five um, prompts that that I follow to to create this and the link to Shannon Green's um, journaling by fives of course so take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now